This is Premier Championship Wrestling. It is Revengeance, the annual tradition. Let's go to Nick Lendl. It is for the Premier Tag Team Championship. We're starting things out hot with championship action. Of course, my name is Joe Dabrowski, uh, lead announcer and director of wrestling operations. And by my side, filling in for Benjamin C. Steele, is Jay Worthington Fernsworth. It's been a while since we've had you up here in the land of Cleve, but uh, thanks for joining us, and you picked a huge night to be a part of. I am happy to be back. I am happy to be sitting in the Benjamin Steele Memorial seat. I, uh, I can't wait to see what kind of action we have coming right now. I see uh, Nikki and Calvin hitting the ring. Well, Ben is not dead. He's on vacation. Let's clarify that. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not. I wasn't trying to say he was dead. Just the seat is memorialized to him already. I see. Well, that is Coach Nikki Valentino and Calvin Couture, the personal wrestling coach and image consultant of the Queen of the Silver Screen, Katie Arquette. Could the tag team... Oh, don't do the whistle in the microphone. Could the Tag Team Championships be memorialized for Valentino and Calvin by the end of tonight? Unique looking tandem. Katie in action a little bit later tonight. We've seen Valentino and Calvin cause a lot of problems for a lot of people as part of that Katie entourage, but uh, we have two of the hardest working men in Premier Championship Wrestling, traveling businessmen, and uh, certainly as the old expression goes, they've proven to be all men in the yard wide as well in Premier Championship Wrestling. Crumbles and Defarge, uh, uh, maybe on the surface, don't look like the most intimidating bunch, but they've shown in the face of adversity they can rise up and succeed. Plus, they also apparently have a nice million. Or haberdasher. Jay Worth breaking out the, uh, I don't know, what, what should we even call that unique antiquated input uh, based uh, on the fashion? You can just go with accurate, Joe. Accurate it's works accurate. Too. Will this uh, visual be a sign of things to come? Not often you kick things off with a championship. We're doing it here in Revengeance. Let's go up to Nick Lendl for the introduction. Introducing first, one of the challengers. At a combined weight of 354 pounds, the team of Calvin Couture and Coach Valentino. It's tight. On who? On Couture. And their opponents with a combined shoe size of 23. Determination on the face of Crumbles and Defarge. They are not going to overlook any challenge. Valentino and Calvin have been uh, inseparable over the months as you see the prize at stake. They haven't been in conventional tag team action with each other very often, but Valentino, a former prime wrestling tag team champion back in the day. Calvin has uh, been competing all over the area for the past couple of years now. He gets better every single time I see him. I'm not a big Calvin fan, but I'll give credit where credit is due. If, if uh, Defarge and Crumbles look past Valentino and Calvin, we could see an upset here this week. I would say it's a very real possibility. I agree with you completely. Every time Calvin Couture steps in the ring, he gets a little better. Sometimes he even gets a lot better. And uh, a lot full of himself, too. Look at those abs. I was looking at bow tie. <laughs> this, uh, Crumbles has uh, removed his hat. I was wondering if he'd be working. Although, suspenders with both still... Uh, both still firmly wearing the uh, the suspenders in the Crumb Fars unit. Well, it is Cornelius Crumble starting out with Coach Valentino. What do you think Calvin thinks about the fashion of Crumbles in the flow Time out, and nothing's happening. Time out. No, sit down. Out. Stop. It's a time out. You realize the bell rang about 15 seconds ago, right? Yeah, but it's a time out. Can we go get a pretzel? No. <laughs> but I was going to ask you, what do you think... Uh, Calvin feels about Crumbles and Defarge how they're dressed. Um, on one hand, I assume he's utterly disgusted, and on the but 
I mean, because they look like... Oh, Valentino from behind. Like lumberjacks that couldn't quite afford the flannel. On the other hand, he's probably also still disgusting. Because, I mean, look at them. They're, they're dressed like hobos with minus the shirts. Well, obviously disgusting enough to get involved illegally and take a cheap shot at Sonny Defarge, but check out Crumbles now centering with a takedown. Valentino, the veteran of this matchup, but it's Crumbles who springs off Lucha-style arm drag. Standard version now as well. And Valentino is on the receiving end. We have seen Crumbles and Defarge in every match type. Tag title defenses, six-man, eight-man tags. What about the latter war they won the titles in against the Cobra Brothers? Crumbles and Defarge have proved the resiliency and versatility. Uh, if you're Valentino and Calvin, what do you think your game plan is other than perhaps timeouts? Um, I am probably going to look to... Well, I would assume that Calvin... Every time I see him, he, he goes upon this, a, a very similar game plan, which would be... Drop kick! Oh. Sorry, I gotta do that. Frustrate his opponents. And, oh, a nice senton there. Comes now into the cover, deep hook of the leg for two. That's all he's gonna get that time. Uh, Tag Division and Premier is pretty uh, steep competitively right now. We've got the likes of Celeste Taylor and Brian Douglas, who contested for the championships at Anniversary. We've got, of course, uh, Team Storm looming. We'll see them in action a little bit later on. Um, nice suplex elbow combination. Defarge now, the legal man. He gets two. And uh, also, you got to throw into that mix, not in attendance this evening, uh, but the main event, Gannon Jones Jr. and Duke Davis, had a championship opportunity over the summer, and it seems that usually their temper or their uh, lack of wherewithal gets the better of them, as Calvin's tagged in. Oh, good luck, Calvin. And a crucifix. Close to a crucifix. Let's go three three quarters of crucifix. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, wait oh. a minute. Calvin gets a lucha arm drag out of this. And a, and a, and a pretty good drop kick. Shades of uh, the illegal crumbles on the legal man Defarge and Calvin. There you go. It's now Valentino getting cheap shots in behind the back of the official. But that's what makes Calvin dangerous, Jay Worth, is that you look at the, the tights and the gaudy outfit, the bow tie, and just the, the uh, 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 eccentric nature of Calvin, and you almost look past the fact that he's a very dangerous competitor. Yeah, yeah, he... Uh you, you think that uh, you're in there with, uh, with with someone a bit, for lack of a better term, prancing. And uh, all of a sudden, he's slapping you upside the head, throwing a drop kick into your stomach. You know, like I said, his, his game plan is frustration. Whereas with uh, Coach Valentino, it's just pure athleticism, just overwhelming his opponents. You see the frustration on Crummles as Valentino spit at him a moment ago. Allowed Calvin to get some extra cheap shots. And you know Calvin's progress, a lot of that goes to uh, the aid that he's gotten from Coach Valentino, who has uh, seen so many ring wars in this area, won tag championships in multiple states, and you see double elbow showing some chemistry here. Looking like a proper tag team, if I do say so myself. And that cover's not going to beat much of anybody at Premier Championship. I, I probably should have hooked the leg a little more. Or at all. <laughs> I think. Some uh, tenacious stops by Calvin, who's keeping his body between Crumbles and Defarge. Smart maneuver. Tag back into Valentino. I mean, smart tag team wrestling. He's cutting off from the tag. He's keeping him in his corner. And like he said, new champions, baby. Think Calvin's getting a little bit ahead of himself? Uh, well, just give it time. As Valentino cinches in the... Uh, the... Uh, Oh, the cravat! There we go. Really, of the two, you'd think that uh, you'd think Calvin would have the cravat. Well, he's a little bit cultured, a little more worldly. Valentino. Valentino man. Is he getting moves after himself now? And that might be a cease and desist. Was it a Valentino man? I guess it is now. He's metaphorically pulling straps down. Oh, uh, he also uh, caught the 
caught the fist and then ate the boot. Yeah, I think he's shooting blanks. He's out on his feet. Here comes Cornelius Crumbles. As he unloads with, on Valentino, who uh, got a little bit too cute for his own good. And Crumbles, oh, went to what could have been a dive. Calvin cuts him off at the pass. Here's Valentino from behind, the belly to belly. Beautiful belly to belly. New champions, no. <laughs> Crumble slides up the shoulder. And a second cover, and Valentino showed some tenacity here, maybe some stubbornness. I also want to point out Couture uh, interjecting himself there and then getting out, of, getting out of harm's way, acting like a good tag team. These two are showing chemistry. Tag again, frequent tags by the duo as well. You gotta believe that, uh, you know, hanging around Katie Arquette all the time, they have so much time together to plan and strategize as Calvin continues uh, to just be the aggressor right where Valentino left off, put the punishment on uh, Crumbles as it appeared, as that's not gonna endear Calvin over the next snap. It appeared that Crumbles and the Farge had shifted the momentum in their favor, but that's all a race now as Calvin gets a near fall. And again, staying in their in their corner, in their corner, in their corner. Couture letting uh, letting the other half of Crumb Farge know what he thinks. And Crumbles might as well be a mile away from his corner at this point. Full extension of the leg by the fashionista as he tags in Coach Valentino. Did you ever let Coach Valentino teach you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look at this technique. Look at that sheer power. Valentino into the cover of the, uh, the Dory Funk Jr. Butterfly Suplex. I'm not gonna deny the technical proficiency of Valentino. He's a great wrestler. He's got the resume, the acumen that shows it, but imagine being around this guy for more than five minutes at a time. Just the, the voice, the obnoxiousness, and especially that whistle. And just soaking in all that information, all that learning, all that knowledge. Something, Absolutely. Something like that. Oh, look at this. Double suplex coming up. Beautifully done. They are utilizing uh, the five count to uh, to the max with uh, this back and forth offense that we've seen between Calvin and Valkyrie just taking turns, assaulting first to Farge and now Crummles who's battling his way to his feet, but can't get to the corner, oh. Calvin, by the hair and across the knee. A nice backbreaker. And a tag. Well, Valentino directing traffic here. He says he's got it. The veteran of the team feels that uh, it may be time to put away the defending champions. I can't say that uh, Calvin looked all that happy about it. Here comes Sonny the Forge. Perhaps that miscue oh. leads to an uppercut. Another uppercut. Shades of their longtime buddy, Uppercut Ulysses, third uppercut. Goodbye, Calvin. Valentino on Dream Street. Oh, reverse. Into flying uppercut. Valentino struggling to get off the mat. Valentino may be defeated. No. Half a count away as Defarge has put the momentum. Back in the defending champion's favor, and this could be questionable as Crumble's ready to get back in there, Jay. And right on top of Valentino, stay on him. You have the momentum here. And I'm walking up Valentino's torso. Now using his back as a weapon. There's the close line. Oh, champions collide. Oh, a nice German. Valentino, that low center of gravity. Got underneath the forge, but crumbles back with a thrust kick. Caught that right under the chin. Oh, forgot about Calvin. Calvin has hold. And Valentino taking advantage. Just put the boots to him. Valentino looking for a home run swing, almost hit his partner. They did. Oh, drop kick and. The entourage collides. Valentino looking for that clothesline. Oh, 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 he found a clothesline, all right. 
Oh, good lord. And crumbles. Plants Valentino face first. Did he get enough of it? He did. Still the champion. Here are your winners. And still the premier tag team champions, Sonny Defarge and Cornelius Crumbles. Well, Crumbles and Defarge now uh, uh, chalk up another victory on their belt. And... Uh, a reign that has gone on for seven months strong now, but it does not get easier. The contenders continue to line up for Crumbles and Defarge. Yeah, they, that's the problem with being the champion. You're you're never going to get any rest. You defeat one enemy, I promise there's an, another set in the wings. Well, certainly earned every bit of this victory, and they get to put the hats back on. Yeah, they put, put them both on. To the victor go the spoils, I suppose. But do you think this could be an omen, Jayworth, for what will happen with Katie Arquette? She's in a three-way elimination match later tonight. Oh, I don't know that you could you can view this as a portent. Katie Arquette is her own unique creature. Well, Crumbles and Defarge uh, will have a unique celebration, one would think. But it appears there might be. Uh, well, there's Katie Arquette. Oh, she steam. Whoa! Yeah, she does not seem happy. I don't know if you can tell. Understatement. Kate does not take well to losing. And now Calvin. Calvin with a chair from behind. This has turned into an outright two-on-one assault. I was wondering who Calvin would side with on this. I'm not sure if Calvin maybe is a little hesitant or not, but... Either way, he's uh, he's drawing his line in the sand. He knows which side his bread is buttered on. He's just laying them into him. Calvin and Katie sending a message. Huge. The entourage has decreased by a third. Uh, anyone looking to hire the services of a coach, uh, let us know. We, we have some recommendations. That shows you uh, the elitist nature of Katie Arquette. She loves perfection. She won't settle for anything else. Valentino, I'll, I'll admit, Valentino's plan went awry, but I'm not sure if he deserved that at all. And we're going to see a lot more Katie later tonight. <laughs> 